Now, I'm going to be sipping on tea throughout, so if you hear any pauses, that's just me sipping on some tea. <laughs> Let's go back here. I want to go back to the, the poem. Because I want to set, I, I really want to set an appropriate foundation for this radio show. And I want it to be clear in terms of the intent. And I want the energy, that, that fundamental inter, uh, energy that, that begins the show, I want it to be fortified in truth. And I want the energy to be as, a, as positive as, as I possibly can make it. So I, I want to take some time just to go through each line inside this poem and talk a little bit. And again, if anyone would like to call in, you're welcome to do so. 917-889-9682 and then push 1 on your keypad. Beloved, is she a woman of great importance? I want to ask you women out there who are listening to the show, do you believe as a woman that you are important? I know as a man, I know that I am important. I know that my wife is extremely important. I know that women are important. But what I'm asking is, personally for you, do you, as a woman, see yourself as being important? That's a critical question, is it not? Am I important? Do, does creation see me as being important? Do my children see me as being important? Does my companion see me as being important? Does society see me as, does my community see me as being important? Am I important to existence? Beloved is she, a woman of great importance. And I will tell you that by virtue of your sacred womb, you are already qualified to be classified as being important. I'll talk a little bit more why this is the case in just a moment. But I want to ask you the question, do you, as a matter of fact, if you have a pen and a piece of paper uh, handy, write this question down. Do I feel that as a woman, I am important? Do I feel as a woman that I have importance in the world, in the universe? And I want you to take some time to think about that question. Maybe between now and, and next week, think about that question and write, write down an answer. And it can be as long as you need it to be. As a matter of fact, if you say no, then answer why do you feel that way? If you say yes, then answer why do, you, why do I feel this way? So it's not just yes or no. Also define why it is yes or no. Do I feel that I am important? And if you say yes, why? If you say no, why? I want you to do that for me next week. If you can do that, and then as a matter of fact, next week, if you'd like to call in and, and share your, your answer, that would be great. Beloved, is she a woman of great importance? Beloved, is she a woman of value and substance? Do you value yourself? Do you demand that other people value you? as you deserve by virtue of your sacred womb. Do you value yourself as a woman? Are you a being manifested here on planet Earth of substance? Are you more than the media propaganda as being simply some sex object or something to be desired or dominated by men? Are you more than that? Do you have more substance than that? Beloved, is she a woman of value and substance? She is the bringer of life. In her magnificence, she creates us all. And haven't you all done that? Yes, you have. And whether or not you have had children or not, you still have because you still ha ha hold a womb. And that womb is connected to the cosmic womb. And therefore, by virtue of your womb, you can lay claim to all of creation. Again, are you a woman of great importance? How can you say no if that is the truth? If it is true that by virtue of the womb, you tap into the cosmic womb and that you are the feminine representation of the cosmic womb and that through the cosmic womb, all things manifested and therefore be your sacred womb, all things manifest through you in this realm. How can you say that you do not have great importance? How can you say that you do not have value or substance? She is the bringer of life. In her magnificence, she creates us all. And everyone 
who is listening to this radio show right now. It was a woman that created you, that carried you for nine months in tandem with a man who provided the spark or the spark of energy to get the process started. But ultimately it was the woman that created you for those nine months and put you together and formed you in her womb and provided you with sustenance. It was a woman that carried you. And then it was a woman that brought you about and brought you into existence via the birthing process. And here you are now on planet earth. She is the bringer of life in her magnificence. She creates us all. She is the nurturer of life in her wisdom. She raises us all and she has raised us time and time again. It has always been women who have inspired me to become greater, raising me up via their nurturance and inspiration. In fact, the, me doing this radio show was a result of a woman who suggested to my wife that I do this radio show. Her name is Inga Ambrosia. The lecture series, What is an Honorable, honorable Man? How to Attract One and Knowing That You Are Worthy. This came out of the wisdom of a woman who inspired me to do that lecture series. And her name is Spirit Halima. My ascendancy into higher levels of manhood came through the interactions with my wife. Why? Because women are the nurturers of life and through their divine wisdom, she raises us all. She is the nurturer of life in her wisdom. She raises us all. She inspires life, gives purpose to men. Yes, y'all give purpose to we, you give us purpose. You give us a reason for waking up in the morning. You give us a reason for becoming greater. You give us a reason to exist on planet Earth. So therefore, are you a woman of great importance? Absolutely. Are you a woman of value and substance? Absolutely. You give us reason for existing. Isn't that beautiful? Every single day I get to wake up and I I wake up and I, and I realize I have a family to take care of and a wife here that I must take care of. And it gives me purpose as a man. Manhood is not something that we attain outside of the context of our interactions with women. Although for many. This type of an orientation has become normalized. I'm a man, even though I'm not engaged in interacting with women in a respectful way. No, it cannot take place in a vacuum and it cannot take place amongst other men. It must take place and actualize in reality via our interactions with women. And in our interactions with women, what we find is that we are given purpose for existing that transcends any other purpose that we thought was important to us prior. That maybe we wanted to be a great musician or a great poet or a great writer, or maybe we wanted to become a doctor of high esteem and we had purpose in our lives to become such things. But it wasn't until our interacting with the feminine principle, with our mate, that we realized that there was a greater purpose that must be tended to and must be taken care of. And yes, in my life, my wife has provided me with this greater purpose. Beloved is she. She inspires life, gives purpose to men. This is what women do. Nurtures, nurturers, the progression, nurtures, the progression of growth. We're in, we find ourselves greater than we were before. An aspect of manhood is the continuous pursuit of becoming greater. This is one of the primary aspects of manhood in our ascendancy into higher heights of manhood is that we want to become greater as men every single day. I've said this in my manhood lecture series, even physiologically speaking, when we have an erect penis, it is our body, our body transmitting to us a need for us to become greater as men. The penis being a symbolic representation of the masculine energy and the potentiality to create life that it provides us with the Symbolic representation of us needing to become greater every single time we have an erection. 
and we find ourselves greater than we were before. But to take it out of the scope of the penis and put it into the scope of us as men. That we can find ourselves to become greater as men in terms of how we think, how we behave. Our actions, how we see women, the value that we place on women, our interactions with women, that we seek to become greater. And that every single day we present to you a greater manifestation of who and what we are as men. You are, are the nurturers of us. We're in the progression of growth. We find ourselves greater than we were before. Beloved, is she a woman of great importance? Beloved, is she a woman of value and substance? In truth, all womb bearers are of high esteem in the cosmos. It is through the womb bearers that all things manifest. Not just babies, but life situations and circumstances manifest out of your sacred womb. Did you know that? And so it is with great honor and respect that I offer this humble showing of gratitude and appreciation, my dear mother, my dear grandmother, my dear sister, my dear daughter. I thank you. Beloved is she. So I want you women to, if, if you can, for next week, if you can answer the question that I raised in the beginning, do you see yourself as being important? Do you place importance on yourself? And, it, and then next week, if you can, if you feel comfortable, please call into the show and share with me your answer. And, and when you answer it, make sure you, you also answer why you feel that way. And then, then next week, call into the show. If anyone would like to call in today, that's perfectly fine. 917-889-9682. 917-889-9682. Before I get to uh, the phone lines, if I can real quickly here, I want to make sure that I do some promotions of some uh, women who are doing some wonderful work. And this is a woman's show. Men are welcome to come and join in as well. You can come on in and listen. That's fine. But I wanted to do this as uh, an expression of my gratitude and appreciation. And I do feel that I have some things that I can offer to women that it will be a benefit uh, to you all. But let me let me just support some of the women who are doing some wonderful things real quickly here. If you, uh, need, if you are in need of original handmade goods, crochet hats, earrings, and original artwork, please visit GeminiSunshine.etsy.com, GeminiSunshine.etsy.com. It's a, a wonderful sister here. She's very talented and a, just a wonderful human being. Please check out uh, her work there at GeminiSunshine.etsy.com. And you can find the music of Beverly Terry at www.hirtuka.com, H-I-R-T-U-K-A.com. And uh, Beverly Terry has been a, an angel uh, for my family and I, and, I, and we, we appreciate her, we love her, and we thank her for all of her support um, indeed. Uh, so please visit uh, Beverly Terry's website at www.hirtuka.com. And dear sister friend of mine who uh, inspired me to do this radio show, and it was just a couple of days ago that she made the recommendation to my wife, and after I saw the email, I said, I'm going to do it. And here we are. And that is Inga Ambrosia. And she does web design, music production, and she's into veganism and poetry. She's also a certified life coach, amongst other things, a musician, awesome, just a wonderful uh, person, uh, a very pleasant being. And her website is www.ingaambrosia.com, and that's I N G A. A-M-B-R-O-S-I-A, IngaAmbrosia.com. As a matter of fact, I'll be on her radio show um, next, on the 19th. So that will be in about five days. Let me see what day that is. Might as well uh, go ahead and promote that here. That will be on Thursday. Uh, on my website, you can find more details. That'll be on Thursday. I'll be on, on her radio show, and we'll be talking about my lecture series, What is an Honorable Man? How to Attract One and Knowing That You Are Worthy, which is available on DVD as a uh, four-DVD set. Uh, and you can get more information about that on my website, linenhonorfilms.com, or you can go to linenhonor.com, L-E-N-O-N-H-O-N-O-R.com, and click on the link that says Online Lectures, okay? Uh, let me just go ahead and promote maybe two more here before we get to phone lines. Um, SheaBaby.com, 100% raw shea uh, butter products, organic hair products, organic skin conditioners, and this is at Shea-Baby.com, 100% raw African shea butter and shea products. Please visit. This is a wonderful family here. They're doing some wonderful things, and we want to support them. Uh, if you're a connoisseur of, of shea butter products, th please go to this website and support these wonderful people, www.shea-baby.com. 
And then of course, my co-creations, co-create your own natural bath and body, dehydrated herbs, dehydrated fruit, and much more at www.mycocreations.com. That's M-Y-C-O-C-R-E-A-T-I-O-N-S, mycocreations.com. And this is another wonderful sister who's doing some awesome work. Please visit her website. And my wife, she has a couple of websites. One uh, you can go to is aidahonor.com, and she has a cookbook available there, the Native Style Cookbook uh, at Aida Honor. Dot com A-Y-I-D-A-H-O-N-O-R dot com. So please check that out when you can. 